Yes, my name's Ian Carnell, I'm from Centre and I look after the design of apprenticeship frameworks. Thanks. Ian, can you tell us how a higher apprenticeship differs from other forms of apprenticeship? Yeah, a higher apprenticeship, um, as its name implies, uh, has high level skills in it. And uh, we are talking uh, from level four upwards. Uh, at the moment we've got a, a design process going forward. We believe that higher apprenticeships may well exist all the way up to level six. Can you tell us what the elements of a higher apprenticeship are? Yes, um, as all apprenticeships, there are standard elements of activity. There is a competence element. Uh, that can be an MVQ um, up to level four or five. At level six, uh, other competencies take over. For instance, in engineering, the uh, UK spec would act as a very efficient vehicle for delivering competence at level six. There is... Um, uh, a knowledge-based element, and the knowledge-based element in, in guise of higher apprenticeships could be anything from an HNC, HND, right up to a honours degree. And obviously foundation degrees uh, uh, feature very significantly in the development of higher apprenticeships. Can you give us an example of a higher apprenticeship? Um, well, we've been running uh, the Higher Apprenticeship in Engineering Manufacture for some five years now. And we've engaged quite a lot of large companies, an example being uh, Airbus at Broughton and at Filton. And they use uh, a, uh, our Higher Apprenticeship, which involves the delivery of um, a foundation degree within, within the program. MVQ Level 4, obviously uh, for... Uh, the new SASE requirements. There is the requirement for personal learning and thinking skills, for functional skills, uh, employment responsibilities and rights. And those elements of the program and also uh, functional skills are all integrated in the new apprenticeship frameworks. And is this something that would be accessible for small businesses as well as large organisations like Airbus? The critical factor uh, is to, yes, we have to meet large employer requirements as far as apprenticeships are concerned, but in engineering and manufacturing, 96% um, of our engineering and manufacturing companies are SMEs. So therefore, any uh, apprenticeship programs that we developed must incorporate uh, an SME focus. And therefore, I wouldn't feel I'd done my job right if we hadn't reflected the needs of SMEs in the design process. And finally and briefly, could you say how many places are likely to be available for higher apprenticeships over the next few years? Um, initially, um, there will be 10,000 places uh, announced through John Hayes and the um, availability of £25 million on a uh, pilot programme to develop higher level apprenticeships. Certainly in engineering, uh, within the next six months, we are going to uh, uh, move forward so that by September of 2012 we would have recruited 250 in the pilot phase of our uh, uh, advanced manufacturing um, uh, apprenticeship, higher apprenticeship. And I believe that um, the reality is that this could grow much larger with the need for high value added activity rather than lower level skills in this country. Uh, we will be moving uh, much more to levels 4, 5 and 6. Uh, within higher apprenticeships and therefore potentially uh, we could rise, the, the levels could rise as much as 50 or 100,000 depending upon um, the uh, availability of the necessary resources to drive it. But I think that the government has made an excellent start in this 25 million pilot project money. Ian Carnell, thank you very much. Thank you.